What's up guys, it's Curtly Fox, and today we'll be building something pretty cool. This is the NASA Space Shuttle Orbiter. So it's an American reusable spacecraft launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida from 1981 to 2011. So it has since retired, but you'll still see this in some museums. They went on missions carrying satellites, probes, the Hubble telescope, and they even had missions to the Russian space station Mir and also helped create and service the International Space Station. And I actually got the chance to see this in real life, the discovery at the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center near Washington, D.C. So yeah, that was a pretty cool experience. When you see this thing in real life, it's actually pretty huge, and I got to take a lot of reference pictures because I know someday I would eventually build this. And one of the things I really noticed when looking at this in real life, just like how many tiles they are, uh, they basically have these TPS tile panels to help protect it from the heat, so thermal protection, and they also have a bunch of labels on them. You know, this video is actually only possible because Trainmaster3985 decided to do a commission on this. He actually wanted to make the Endeavor, which recently went on display in Los Angeles. But looking at the pictures, I think Discovery and Endeavor shuttles, they look pretty much the same, not much different. But yeah, let's go take a look at the details. So it basically looks like a giant plane. This is actually pretty wide. And here in the nose, they have this black section and like a black stripe the cockpit, um, and then it says the name here on the side. There was a total of six shuttles, so Challenger, Enterprise, Columbia, Discovery, Atlantis, and the last one is Endeavor. And then on top, they have a bunch of these hatches, which can open up and, you know, I guess unload the aircraft or spacecraft. And then we here we have the wing, and I noticed like the wing, they also have like this sloping pattern here, so it does go up here in the front, and then goes lowers down here in the back. And on the wing itself, it has a U.S. flag here. And then the other side has like a NASA logo. Also, there is a U.S. flag over here. And then this says United States and then the NASA logo again. And the back, you can see all that detail. The engines, when you look at it in real life, they are really huge. So just imagine that. And they kind of like angle upwards as well. And then here we have the stabilizer. And there are also these smaller engines right here to the side of the three big ones. And there's also this like little ramp thing here in the back of the tail. And here's what it looks like at the bottom. Let me turn on my night vision. So you guys can see the landing gear doors. Here's how that looks like. Also on this side, they have this segment here, which is not present on that. So that's a little asymmetrical detail. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. I know a lot of you guys will be probably excited to build this because it is pretty cool. I think it's like the first time I ever made a NASA build. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And yeah, you can put this in a museum. It will definitely be a pretty cool display. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. All right, so first off, let's grab some materials. We're gonna take out a polished blackstone brick and then a slab, a diorite wall, birch fence gate, black concrete, polished blackstone brick stairs, a smooth quartz block, gray concrete, and a deep slate brick slab. So first off, make the front wheel, that's just polished blackstone brick block. A direct wall, two blocks tall. Birch fence gate, open it up. And polished blackstone brick slab here. And then in the back, we want to add in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we'll add in a black concrete on top. And we're gonna make this go all the way to the front. And then we'll extend it by one, adding in the stairs. Smooth quartz block on top, black concrete on top of that. And then a deep slate brick slab here. Gray concrete at the very nose. Follow that up with this um, deep slate tile slab here. Smooth quartz block, black concrete. Then tile slab here, black concrete. Um, and then smooth quartz block, and then smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz block, and then a polished blackstone, and then two blocks long, smooth quartz block, and then polished blackstone brick slab, and then snow. So this is going to be six layers tall, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a smooth quartz block, and a polished blackstone brick slab. And then polished diorite four blocks long. Diagonally up, 
another one and this one's like six blocks one two three four five and six daggling up and this looks to be another six so one two three four five six daggling up another six one two three four five six daggling up this one's five one two three four and five diagonally up a black concrete polished black stone brick stairs on top facing the front and then smooth quartz um block this one is going to be i guess seven blocks long one two three four five six seven and then we'll take out a dark oak trapdoor add one here and smooth quartz uh, block then smooth quartz slab, another dark oak trap door, smooth quartz slab, and then smooth quartz, I mean smooth quartz block, then a slab. All right, then we'll add in black concrete and we'll make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, four, add one at the tip. Then we'll add three smooth quartz blocks, two black concretes, and two by three smooth quartz, two blocks tall black concrete, Two by two, smooth quartz, and black concrete, and a polished black stone two blocks long. Then smooth quartz block here, and make it four blocks long. And then we'll go down here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this daily up of smooth quartz all the way to the top. Because we need to add in, I guess, you know, that sh what do you even call this? This lining in the front, the black tip edge, the black edge. Yeah, that's the word. And polished black stone brick stairs all the way down like that. Very nice, 45 degrees. Fill in the inside part with smooth quartz block for pretty much everything here. Very nice. All right. And then the back of this, we'll add in a dark oak trap doors. Close that up. Skip that part and then add a bunch of them here just to make the edge black or rather dark brown. Add one at the bottom here. And then down here, we'll add in smooth quartz block, polished black stone, smooth quartz block, then two polished black stone. And then we'll add in a polished black stone brick block here. And then stairs at the top and the bottom. Then a block here, and I guess three blocks at the bottom, and then slabs two of them here, and then over here is going to be a stairs uh, right side up, and then a slab. All right, and then at the bottom it's going to be a polished black stone wall, two blocks here, and then another three. Then polish blackstone, uh, add in four, one, two, three, four. Then add in an L shape here. Add another one here. Two polish blackstone brick slabs, upside down, uh, polish blackstone stairs. And then polish blackstone brick slabs, two blocks long with a daylight detector, and we'll make that into blue. Down here, we'll add in a polish blackstone brick slab. And I'm going to make it 15 blocks long, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then black concrete, and then fill it all the way across to the front. Just like that, and congratulations, we finally made the center. Alright, then we're going to go in the front, take a polished black stone brick stairs, add one here. And then black concrete, make an L around it. Then the, over here is uh, two polished blackstone brick blocks. Smooth quartz block, um, two blocks here. I think this is a smooth quartz slab. Black concrete. Black concrete to the side of this. Polished blackstone brick slab. Um, smooth quartz blocks, two blocks here. And another two here. And we'll extend the snow layer. And uh, smooth quartz block here, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz slab. And then a uh, polished blackstone brick slab here. 
Then at the bottom, we'll add in a deep slate brick wall. Polished blackstone brick stairs right here. And black concrete with a polished blackstone brick slab. And then the inside part. Uh, we need to have uh, polished blocks and brick stairs facing inwards, two blocks long. And then polished blocks and brick slab. We're going to make this go all the way to just before this edge slab. And then after that, we'll go over here next to this one and just add in polished blocks and brick slab to the side of it. And apparently on this side, we'll add in four blocks here. And then there's going to be this polished blackstone slab, two blocks long. And polished blackstone brick slabs all the way across. And I think this part here, this black concrete section, that's also going to go all the way across on top like that. All right, and then the back section here, you see this whole bottom section. I think we'll pretty much just uh, do a repeat, stack it out like that. And then this top part as well. And there's actually going to be this diorite wall instead here. And then polish uh, blackstone uh, walls, two of them here with the bottom. And then our polished blackstone, three blocks tall, skip block one here, smooth quartz block here. And then there's going to be this polished blackstone uh, brick wall here, polished blackstone wall on top. And the bottom, fill that in. Then we'll add in this um, polished blackstone brick stairs. And uh, we want to add in two blocks long over there. And then a polished blackstone brick wall right here. And polished blackstone. I'm going to actually turn on my night vision because it's kind of hard to see. Polished blackstone brick block. Three blocks long, so one, two, three and add in polished blocks and brick stairs here. And then a polished blackstone brick block here and then two stairs upside down facing inwards like that. All right, I think that's it for the top engine. Now for the bottom engine, there's gonna be this polished blackstone brick wall here and then this polished blackstone brick blocks. Make it three blocks long, stairs at the edge over here, we'll add in a wall, then a block, and then two stairs upside down. The top's going to be stairs, and the stairs facing that way, I guess. Alrighty. And at the bottom, there's going to be uh, three slabs, um, just like that. Then we'll go at the top section here. We'll add in a smooth quartz slab right behind this black concrete. We'll make this go all the way to the back. And over here, we'll add in um, a polished diorite block here. And then a smooth quartz block here. And uh, this part, we'll add in, I guess, smooth quartz block. I don't think it really matters if you use a slab or a block for this part, I think. I uh, would we'll just add like that. And then smooth quartz slab to the side. Polished diorite slab. And then smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz slab. Now let, let me turn off polished diorite slab, and then smooth quartz slabs, two slabs, diorite, smooth quartz, and then three here, and then smooth quartz. And we made our way all the way back to the front. All right, now let's go on the top part. We'll add in a black carpet on top of this and a blackstone button to the side, just like so. And we're going to add in a birch button to the wheel at the bottom. All right, next up, let's grab more materials, um, black glass pane, deep slate tile stairs, black concrete, polished blackstone brick stairs, snow layer, smooth quartz block, and I guess stairs. All right, so first off, we'll add in smooth quartz stairs to the side of this. Then tile stairs, two of them facing the back. And then we'll add in a black concrete, make it uh, two blocks long here. And three blocks tall. 
Then we'll add in um, two of them inside here. And we'll also add in uh, two black concretes in front. I should have done that earlier. Uh, black glass pane, two blocks tall here. A polished black stone brick stairs. Could be just side of this black concrete underneath. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab right here. Two black concretes. And then smooth quartz block. Two blocks here. And a black concrete behind the slab. All right, then we'll add in smooth quartz stairs here. Then two smooth quartz blocks. And then a polished blackstone brick wall right here. Then three smooth quartz blocks. So one, two, three. Then smooth quartz slabs, two blocks here. And we'll add in a snow layer. It's going to be uh, two layers here. So one, two. I think this one's also two. Could it be three? Yep, two. And then that one's two. So two, two, two. Like that. All right, now let's work on the roof section. So just extend this out. Polish our right slab and smooth quartz slab. I'm going to add four, two. And then I guess we'll skip that for now. We'll add in three here. Go up. Three, skip that. Two here. Go up. Three, skip that. Two. And then we'll add in two. I mean, three <laughs> smooth quartz blocks. Polish the right block there. Smooth quartz block. And then smooth quartz slab. And there is a snow layer. So that is going to be six and three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then three here. All that up with smooth quartz block and uh, I think this one just goes off to the edge of this and then there's going to be two blocks tall of this polished black stone and then wall and then polished black stone block that will just line up with the other one here like that and then extend uh, add this three walls like that and uh, polish I mean diorite wall here, and then, and then polish blackstone uh, block, two blocks here, make an L shape here, then diorite wall here, and um, for this whole bottom section that is going to be the same thing, so yeah, we're just going to stack it again, stack this top part as well, looks like that. All right, and then for the engine part, we'll just add in a polished blackstone brick slab here, stairs, and then three polished blackstone brick blocks at the bottom, and then stairs right here, block on top, stairs on top of that, block in front of it, and then a polished blackstone brick slab here, another slab here, um, and we'll add in three polished black stone brick slabs here. All right, I think that's it for that part. Then over here, go here, add in a polished black stone brick slab, black concrete. And this entire back section, we extend that by one, just like that. And then we'll go add in black concrete. That's going to also be extended outwards just like that. All right, so the next step, we'll go here to the side, add in black glass panes, and we're gonna make this do a two by two, add one top here, and polish black stone brick walls, two of them here, and then black concrete, make it two by two, one at the top here, one at the bottom, and then smooth quartz slab here, smooth quartz block. And we are going to add in white glass panes. Two blocks here, another two here, and another two here. Then smooth quartz um, block. Make a row of three here. Then fill in the bottom row of it. Then fill in this part and then just connect it all together like that. Add in a polished blackstone uh, brick slab underneath it. And we're going to make it go to the edge just before that 
a wall like that. All right, and then go up here, add in a polish diorite um, block here, and then polish diorite uh, slot right on top. And then we'll add in four smooth quartz. So one, two, three, four. And I think this is slab, right? So add in smooth quartz slab, top of it. And then smooth quartz block, two blocks long. A polished diorite, fill this in slab. And then go to the next one. Add in a polished diorite slab. Gently down a slab and then a polished diorite block smooth quartz block all the way across and then slabs in the gap go to the next one you know slab and then down polished diorite get three actually yeah three smooth quartz two smooth quartz fill in the gap next one um polished diorite slab block underneath it and then smooth quartz all the way across and three slabs like that. In the back of this is going to be a black concrete this time. Get two blocks tall and then polish diorite. And we'll go over here, add in polish diorite there, make it extend to the back. And then go gently down here, polish diorite. And we're going to make this go all the way up to here extend it out just like that and then we'll add in this polished black stone brick slab here and we're going to make it six blocks long so two three four five six then down here it's going to be the u.s flag so i guess on the third block here go down skip block here Lapis Lazuli, skip two blocks, add in a smooth quartz block. And we'll make it five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we'll go to the side of this, add in another polished black and brick slab. And we'll extend this outer portion with black concrete. And then over here, we're going to add in polished black stone brick slab. This is going to go all the way across towards the front area. Just like that. And then this bottom section, you know, we'll do the same thing. Just copy this, this bottom to extend it out again. And then uh, we'll add in polished black stone. Um, and we'll add it four blocks along here. Add another one here. Add it adjacent to the other one and we'll add in a polished blackstone uh, wall add one here a polished blackstone brick wall and then polished blackstone walls goes all the way down that then a diorite wall here polished blackstone wall top to bottom of it and then we'll add in polished blackstone brick stairs two of them here and then polished black stone brick wall, one here, one down here. And then um, polished black stone brick slab. And then polished black stone block, three blocks long. Then one here. Then two stairs facing upside down inside. And then one stairs at the bottom. That is gonna be the engine. All right, next up, let's go over here, add in smooth quartz stairs, and then smooth quartz slab, diagonally down, another one, and then smooth quartz block, extend it towards the back, add in snow layer, six layers tall, so it matches the other one, and then we'll go to the back, add in a polished blackstone brick block here, polished blackstone brick slab, top, and bottom. Also add in that dark oak trap doors on the sides of it. Close that up. Just like that. Alright, next up, let's take a white glass pane. And we'll add one here. 
diagonally down towards the front three of them here. And then smooth quartz uh, block three blocks here. Polish diorite block here. Polish diorite slab on top. And then a uh, smooth quartz slab, and we are gonna extend it out pretty much the same. So I guess four blocks here, and then goes up, smooth quartz block, two blocks long, and then a polished diorite block. And it's gonna be a polished blackstone brick uh, slab. Three of them spaced apart. And then smooth quartz slabs in between and before it. Smooth quartz um, slab here. We're going to add polished diorite slab here. Polished diorite underneath. And then um, we need smooth quartz stairs. Going to be uh, facing towards each other. Like that. And after another one stairs here then I guess back to back yeah I think they're actually all back to back stairs so three pairs of them like that and then smooth quartz slab three blocks here oh, just like that and at the bottom add in smooth quartz slabs all the way across like that then over here in this section we'll add in um, polished diorite two blocks tall then polished blackstone brick slabs so it's going to be um, one here actually three of them spaced apart smooth quartz slabs in between then the, four, the front will add in two slabs here and then three smooth quartz blocks like that the next one smooth quartz block all the way up to the next polished diorite section um, and then a slab on top. And then smooth quartz slabs, three of them here. All right, cool. Then we'll add in smooth quartz uh, block. Two more here, the one down here. And then we'll add in four, one, two, three, four. And then this is gonna be a polish diorite, two blocks along like that, one down here. And yeah, let's add a dispenser. And a diorite wall will be right at the edge, right there. Then smooth quartz um, block on top. And then smooth quartz block, make it two blocks tall here. Then four smooth quartz slabs. Uh, smooth quartz blocks in between for the gap. And then um, polish. Blackstone wall, three blocks um, tall like that. And then yet again for this bottom section, we're just gonna do the same thing, just stack it. Cross another one. Add some more of this polished blackstone. Um, and we're gonna add it two blocks after this edge. Then down here is gonna be um, polished blackstone brick slab. Uh, smooth quartz block and uh, this segment approximately seven blocks long so one two three four five six seven and then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick block and it looks to be four slabs so one two three four and then smooth quartz block all right and then this segment here I guess we'll do this one at a time. We'll just make a row, smooth quartz, right there. Connect the bottom area together. And we'll also fill in the inside of this hole. And then we'll add in um, TNT, yeah. If you can't use TNT, like someone's going to explode your build, you, or you can just replace it with brick. Then we'll add in a brick stairs right here. Smooth quartz block here, and then we'll add in a row on top. And I guess this row actually goes all the way across. Like that. And then uh, we'll add in this blue concrete. It's going to line up with that uh, polished diorite, like that. 
fill in the back section, um, smooth quartz, and smooth quartz block right there. All right, then this top section, we're just gonna add in smooth quartz slabs. Cross. Just like that. And then the back part here, smooth quartz slab, and then smooth quartz um, block right here. And um, this part, we'll just extend it back to right around here. To actually just right before this part, gonna be polished blackstone block. And get three blocks tall like that. And then polish blackstone wall, three blocks tall. And then polish blackstone, another two blocks here. Then a smooth quartz slab here. Smooth quartz stairs face the front. It'll go all the way across to the back. Like that. All right, and then we're actually gonna change this block. Apparently that was a stairs. Polish blocks and stairs there. Smooth quartz stairs, other side. And then polish blockstone wall. Add in two blocks here. That. All right, next up, let's go down here. Add in a polished diary underneath this block. Polish blackstone brick um, block here. Slab on top and then wall behind it. All right, next up, we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab here. Four blocks long. One, two, three, four. Smooth quartz block on top. Three blocks here and one inside part. And then we'll add in black concrete here. If a uh, stone button, then smooth quartz block all the way across here and then fill in the top layer, just like that. And then this part here, fill this in, smooth quartz, and polish black stone brick slab underneath here all the way across. And then smooth quartz block, that's going to be the whole segment here in the middle, just like that. All right, next we'll add in two polished blackstone buttons right there. And this thing down here, probably I made a mistake. This one just goes on the outside. So of course block right there. All right. All right, next we'll add in polished blackstone slab to the side of this. And we'll make it seven blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now go down, add in polished blackstone brick slab here. Make it 11. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slabs going across this part here. And then we'll add in a birch fence. Uh, it's going to be one here. Fence gate underneath. Open up. Then two diorite walls. Polished diorite slab. And we'll add in the wheel on this side as well. There also. Also add in a birch button here to the sides of the wheels like that. Then go over here. And then we'll go here, add a snow layer, six layers tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The next one is going to be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight. And then a snow block here, one single snow layer. And then three smooth quartz blocks. And then polished blackstone brick slabs. I guess we'll just make it go across like that to the very back of this. Then the next one's going to be two layers tall, then three layers tall, then five, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. And then it's going to be eight. It's going to be another eight. And then seven again. And then seven. Then six. And another six. All right, so then in the back, we'll add in stone button here. And it's going to be polished blackstone brick slab. Two of them here. Block here. And then polished blackstone block here. And polished blackstone brick blocks all the way across to the front. Then a white carpet. Two layers here. 
And then we'll add a snow layer here. The next one's going to be two layers, then three layers, another three, then four, four, and then five for the last three. We'll also add in a blackstone button. It'll be right there. All right, next up, let's add in a black concrete to the side of this. Polish black stone brick stairs facing the front. Smooth quartz slab underneath here. Smooth quartz stairs. Smooth quartz block, four blocks long. And then a polished diorite stairs facing the front. And polished diorite uh, block here. Polished diorite stairs right there. And smooth quartz block on top of this, all the way across. And then smooth quartz uh, slab. And then smooth quartz stairs going all the way across to the back where I think this part we're going to corner the very edge of it with that. Then we'll add in a diorite wall right here. And then we'll add in a birch bun to the side of this. Blackstone buttons, two of them here. Skip one, add one, skip one, add one. That. Alright, next up in the back of this, we'll add in polished blackstone brick. Slab, two blocks long here. Polish blackstone brick block. Polish blackstone. Um, and then polish blackstone brick block. And uh, let's make this go all the way to the landing gear. Then we'll add in white carpet here. And then we'll add in a dark oak trapdoor here. And this snow layer, we're going to make this the same that and then once we get up to here it's gonna corner a bit and goes up like that kind of matches it up making uh making a zigzag pattern and then this one kind of and make it zag like that all right and then once we get over here add in then we get up to this section, we'll add in six polished black stones. So three, and then another three. And then it's going to be a snow block here. And polished black stone brick all the way across. All right. Then we'll add in snow layer. So it's going to be two here, then four, then six. And I think the six, yeah, it actually goes all the way four, five, six to there. So it's all going to be sixes. Just like that. All right, then we'll go down at the bottom, add in polished blackstone brick slab, two of them here, dangly one here. And we'll also add in a diorite wall right here. Then we'll add in polished blackstone uh, brick slab. Three of them here. And we'll extend them out towards the back section. Just like that. And then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab here. Extend it out to the landing area. And we'll add in this polished um, blackstone wall. Make it two blocks tall and five blocks long. Like that. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick slabs, just two of them here. All right. And then we'll go over here, add in polished black stone brick slab, three of them here. And then add in another two here. Uh, polished black stone slab, so one here, polished black stone stairs here, then facing the front. Then polished black stone brick block, top, all the way across to the back where we'll add in polish blackstone, polish blackstone brick, the slabs, and the white carpet. Alright, then we'll add in snow layer. So let's go one here, then two, two, and then three, I guess. Another one here. And then and then for this section it's just gonna match, I guess, you know, this part here. Extend them out all the same. 
And in this part, these three blocks are going to be uh, two, then four, and then this is going to be five, like that. Alright, next we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab. Make it uh, four blocks here. Add one to the edge here. And then we'll add in um, two blocks here. Make it extend towards the front. Then dark oak trap doors, two of them here. Then a two by two. Then one here in the back. Then we'll move to the back. Add in um, polished blocks and brick slab, just two blocks wide here, and five blocks long. Add another three slabs at the tip. And then polished blackstone brick uh, blocks all the way across here. All right. And then I'm going to add in polished blackstone stairs upside down here, and then a slab right there. And then three polished blackstone blocks here, polished blackstone stairs, then polished blackstone uh, block all the way across here. And then a uh, polished blackstone brick slab, just every other block. We have polished blackstone blocks in between that. And then we'll add in polished blackstone uh, bricks all the way across. And we're going to try to make um, a diagonal pattern. So uh, right here, just polished blackstone stairs and blackstone brick. You know what? I just make a diagonal blackstone brick first. Just like this. Then we'll add in our polished blackstone stairs. Then we'll fill in the inside part, polished blackstone brick blocks. Cross like this. Cool. All right, next up, we'll add in a dark oak uh, trap doors above all these holes. Then snow. Got to add in two layers here and then one layer for these three. And then we'll add a white carpet, two blocks. I don't know, wide. Gonna be like that. And then this one goes all the way across. And then we'll need a weighted pressure plate at the edge here. And then snow layers, two layers tall. This one goes all the way across. Um, just like this. Then we'll add in three snow layers, so one, two, three, just one layer tall, and then the rest is going to be two layers tall on the very tip of the wing. Alright, then we'll add in more snow layers, two layers tall here. Two, and then two, two, then next is going to be three, and three, then four, another four, and oops, I did not make that four. Then five. Like that. And then the next one's gonna be three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then five. One, two, three, four, five. Last one's gonna be five as well. All right, so for the rest of them, we just want to sort of connect them. So we'll start down here. Uh, we're going to make this all the same with that one. Then this one's going to be shorter than that one. Make sure this is like the same uh, width. Watch that one here. All right, then this one fill this in. Then it goes down again. This is all the same. I don't know, this last one, it might be like pretty easy. Yep. So now we have a smooth wing like that. All right, so once we have this, you're going to build everything that we did on this side on the other side. All right, so once we have both sides, it looks like this, but we're not done yet because there is asymmetrical details. So let's go on this side, add in a bamboo sign here, yellow glass pane, blackstone button, bamboo button right there. And then here, uh, we're going to add in polished blackstone brick stairs, two L's, 
upside down L, face in the back, and then two more L's. Other side will do the same pattern. Put two L's, backwards upside down L, and then two L's. And then over down here, there's also a, a white glass pane like that. And then we're gonna punch in a hole two by two here. And we're actually gonna add in inside two by two. Uh, actually, you know what, an L-shaped smooth quartz and then bamboo planks in the front. And then polished blacks and brick stairs here, and then the rest is going to be a circle shape. Looks like that. And then we'll add in a bamboo sign to the side of that, and a blackstone button that's going to be right underneath this part here. Alright, then we'll go to the wing part. And we're to count to the fourth dark oak trap door from the edge. Skip block here, punch in two by two, add in smooth quartz slab here, and then warp slab L shape. And then the other side, I guess we're gonna line up with this trap door, skip block, make a hole for daylight detectors, make them all blue. Go here, two blocks wide, Hole, warp slab, and then a brick slab like that. Then I'm going to add in two blackstone buttons right here at the tip of this. Other side, same thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the NASA Space Shuttle Orbiter in Minecraft. Looks pretty nice. Thanks again to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this build. He's commissioned so many builds over the years, so I do appreciate that. And if you guys are interested in doing a commission, you can just send me an email at craftyfoxbusiness at gmail.com. We'll link in the description. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.